Howdy! What's up? My name is Mohit. People, today I'm gonna demonstrate how to create these uh, such menu buttons. Colorful full menu buttons that um, do multiple transitions on a hover. Let's uh, check it out. Now this is a preview inside Code Pen itself. It's an online editor and you see there are several uh, CSS uh, properties especially CSS3 properties undergoing transitions together on a hover now these buttons are nothing but actually anchor tags uh, what's actually undergoing transition is the background color the text stroke the border radius the box shadow uh, and if that's not all on a hover you actually see the stitched effect you see the dashed border I call it the stitched effect because the internal background color is actually bleeding across the broader a uh, border spilling over going outside and that creates the stitched effect I wouldn't call it the um, I wouldn't call it the dashed border but I would rather call it the stitched effect right so you see so much is going on all together to create these uh, vertically aligned menu buttons and uh, for example if I click on the first home button it actually takes you to my website uh, the other buttons are not yet ready okay um, if I go through the HTML if I open up the HTML for you which is actually very simple to understand I have four anchor tags every anchor tag has an href attribute uh, three of them the bottom three are actually pointing to a hashtag basically since the this is just an illustration an example the um, uh, targets are not yet ready but just for the example the first anchor tag is actually pointing to my own website qualitylessons.net that was just to show you how you know uh, these anchor tags actually work like or function like clickable buttons and also notice that uh, once you hover over each of these anchor tags or hyperlinks as we call them the uh, through the cursor property it changes to a hand with the you know a finger pointing upwards through the cursor uh, property acquiring a value of pointer as we'll soon see people uh, if you thought the effect is subtle and um, there shouldn't be too much of a code I wouldn't say you are at all near to the truth. There's so much of code, even though the effect is uh, more or less subtle. In fact, I would call it moderate. It's not so subtle. I would say uh, a moderate effect and uh, involves a lot of CSS. See, if I were to close up the HTML pane and just uh, scroll through the uh, CSS pane slowly, starting with the body rule, you'll see there's a lot of code. and going up to 108 lines people okay so I am lazy when it comes to rewriting such ch big chunks of code I wouldn't do it uh, in fact for the very first time ever you know having spent a lot of time creating this effect I'm not even gonna talk you through the code the code will uh, be given away to you because I'll be leaving the URL this URL you know that I'm actually uh, highlighting right now this highlighted part uh, up to the letter C up to the character C is what you actually need to access the preview access the code and understand it I'm just gonna give you a gist and the logic behind doing all this how it actually works okay now remember uh, I'm gonna be breeze through the code people I'm gonna make sure that this tutorial actually finishes under 10 minutes that's what people like right people like the effects people like the end product and people don't like to really bang heads bang their heads that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna give it away it's a giveaway people it's a giveaway of my uh, uh, blood and uh, sweat <laughs> okay so I've actually busted my buns uh, already trying to complete this and I don't want to milk myself I don't want to juice myself any further into rewriting the whole code again it's just a giveaway take it use it enjoy it All right but as I said I'll just breeze through the gist of it the uh, let's understand the the logic behind 
how this actually works it's not at all difficult you just you should just you know understand the cs3 css3 properties like border radius uh, box shadow um background shorten property the transition property etc and you can actually do it the code is right there in front of you you see all these four buttons uh, respectively have classes of b1 b2 b3 b4 and what i've done is you see i've created a group selector out here i've actually um, formatted my four buttons out here buttons are nothing but anchor tags people and how actually how have i actually done it i've used the perspective on these classes b1 b2 b3 b4 a perspective of 200 px that acts actually acts like the viewing angle you know you set the perspective on the parent and then the give the children some transformation and uh, you get a nice viewing angle that's the reason why it's actually slightly skewed slightly tilted uh, right so we are using the perspective property out here to give uh, a viewing angle all right you see uh, i've used the color white for the text with whatever whatever margin top bottom 30 left right auto that's going to center up the button position relative on the parent so i can actually set absolute on the child and position it uh, in relation to the parent line height 200 uh, percent is actually going to act like the padding uh, in this uh, example increasing the line height is going to act like the increasing the uh, top bottom padding out here text align center centering the text extra margin on the padding on the left hand side 20 px cursor pointer gives you that nice uh, hand finger text decoration and since these are anchor tags they're obviously going to have uh, the underline i'm removing it it's also going to get the uh, blue color i'm actually countering it out here giving it a white color display block allows uh, make sure that the uh, buttons actually follow top bottom and are not in the left right hierarchy then uh, you know occupy the whole width available left right i've given some subtle uh, text uh, shadow to the text which actually sharpens on a hover okay i'm using uh, the transition for my background for my box shadow even my border radius over a period of 250 milliseconds okay i'm using the uh, colon before pseudo elements i'm creating some content quite clearly i'm flushing it top right bottom and left zero zero basically which occupies the entire width and the height z index ensures that actually goes one layer down stack order goes one layer down border radius set on the entire button people of 20 px uh, border one px dash transparent uh, actually all these four buttons have a transparent uh, dash border which you can't see unless you actually hover where it actually turns white all right i'm skewing the button i'm actually rotating the button along the x y and the z axis people basically i'm creating a lot of spatial movement right -o. so a lot of css you know has been punched in has been pumped in right so on a hover what happens the um, you know the dash border actually appears uh, if you're wondering how the inner uh, background actually spills over the dash border that's because of uh, a trick that we use by creating uh, three or four or five pixels of uh, box shadow without any blur radius and that's exactly what i've done with these four buttons also notice when i actually hover over these buttons one of the sides the first the top left and the top right then the the bottom uh, right and then the bottom left actually becomes like you know becomes pointed and that's been achieved through border radius applied only to one corner people that gives a nice uh, effect to the different buttons i don't want all the four buttons to appear the same since they have different colors why not give them different shapes to on a hover that's the logic that i've used so basically people a lot of css3 skewing it rotating it along uh, x y and z axis and uh, turning a 1px dashed transparent border into a uh, dashed white border on a hover All right and uh, playing around with the background colors so sometimes burly wood turns into chocolate dodge you know deep sky blue actually turns into a dodge of blue on a hover etc etc so that's basically the logic you see uh, it's not at all too difficult you can actually go through the code and understand it right so i hope you found this information people you can grab the code quite easily i'll leave the link in the description to get the source code uh, please thumb the video up please subscribe to me if you think i'm actually deserving of it you have a good day bye bye Peace.